Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the Lily Cup by the Intamina Company. They have two different styles of cups. They have the regular Lily Cup and the Lily Cup Compact, which is the cup that I have today. Both of them come in two different sizes, size A and size B. And they only have two different colors, which also indicate the size. The light pink, this color here, are the size A, or the smaller of the two sizes, and the dark pink, which is this color, are the size B. The regular style cups are larger and have a higher capacity than the compact cups. They suggest the regular lily cups for a person that has up to a heavy flow cycle, and the compacts are, are better suited for someone that has a, up to a medium flow. Both of their styles of cups are the same price. They're $39.95, and for me, the shipping is $9.90. I don't know how much it is elsewhere, but I do live in the United States, and it's almost $10 to ship, ship to me. Uh, the, the Lily Cup is a little less, uh, a few dollars less on the Feminine Wear website. Um, and for me, usually the shipping is cheaper. Um, I did visit the Feminine Wear site this morning and it showed that it wasn't in stock at this time. So you'll have to keep checking back to see if she has restocked. And I'm not sure if it was available for the United States. Um, I, I went to the website, it, a few days ago I went to the Feminine Wear website and it updated me to just the cups that were available in the United States or to be shipped to the United States it, but this morning when I visited it to um, double check about the Lily Cup it was showing me the the regular website so um, I just, I, I'm not sure if if she's able to ship this to the United States you'll have to uh, find her on Facebook you can ask her she seems to get back to me really, really quick, right away, um, so you won't be waiting long to hear if it can be shipped to you here in the United States. The Intamina website is really easy to navigate and has a lot of good information on their website. And they don't only carry menstrual cups, they also have several other feminine products, so check out their website. I'll go ahead and leave the links to fem, um, Feminine Wear and Intamina in the description below. Uh, they both also have Facebook pages, so go like on their Facebooks for updates and maybe discounts or offers. So I purchased my Lily Cup Compact in a D-Stash, and she still had the box and the pamphlet, or the booklet, that it came with, so uh, of course I've been holding this side up this whole time, and I'll just go ahead and do a quick turn around here if you want to pause your uh, video just to read all of that and here is the booklet and it's not all in English it does uh, it is printed in different languages so you're not actually reading this whole book but it has information about both of their cups and the cup itself with their carrying case it's really small here, and I think it's a, oh, sorry. I think it's about two inches around. Yep, just about two inches from here to here, and that's awesome. You can just stick it in your pocket um, or in a handbag, a clutch, or something, and it doesn't take up a whole bunch of room. Just in case, just to have it um, when you're out and about and it's molded with their name there and in the back there are some breathing holes because you don't ever want to store your cup in an airtight container and this is a clamshell style container so it just pops open there oh my cup is upside down so the cup is just like so and it really reminds me of those collapsible um, pill cups that we used to have when we were little. Well, we did. I did. So, you just take that out and pull on the stem and it pops right open. So, just like the case, 
The cup itself is just under two inches, not including that stem. That stem has four uh, grip rings and let's see, not very much sound there. They're nicely raised off of that, uh, but they're, they're really smooth. They're not, um, there's no hard edges like some of the other cups have. And this is a hollow stem. You can see right in there, really good. And it's, it, because it's hollow, it's quite bendy. I didn't have any problems with it, so I didn't cut it off. Um, and since this seems like a, a shorter cup and it's such a soft silicone, I didn't feel like I needed to cut that off. But if you do want to cut that off, make sure you leave at least w this bottom grip ring because the inside of that is is hollow. And see where that last tiny ring is there? Uh, that is the stem. and right here is hollow. That's part of the cup already. So if you cut below this last um, grip ring at the bottom, you're going to cut into your cup right there. So I would again leave that last grip ring just so you don't puncture into your cup and, and cause it to be useless. Like most of the other cups, the Lily Cup does not have grip rings on the bottom or the base of their cup. But it does have these um, where the cup collapses and that actually gives a good grip right on that little last collapsible part. The silicone is is well they they describe it as ultra soft cup and it is made out of a medical grade silicone but it's really velvety it doesn't feel like the other silicones that I have I'll do my slip slip uh, test here so my fingers do slide off of it really easy uh, but grabbing that that last ring I don't have a problem gripping it really good and pulling on it but this this silicone is so nice so velvety smooth so right here they do have a, a edge and although it looks like a hard edge it's it doesn't doesn't feel that way they have a nice smooth transition between that secondary rim and up there is a I mean obviously there is a bump there but it doesn't feel hard or um, rigid like uh, some of the other cups. I know my moon cup is is a really hard edge right there and uh, I just I don't care for that but this is nice it's a nice smooth transition so I don't think anybody would have any problems with that and then the uh, top rim there so it gets a little more firm from this secondary rim to that top rim and right underneath that top rim there are four suction release holes and you can see them there. They're kind of small. Smaller than some of my other cups, a lot of my other cups. And they're punched straight through. Um, in no diagonal. I don't know if these are punched, drilled, or uh, molded. I didn't contact the company. But you can still see right through them. There are no markings, no moldings uh, for measurements or anything, no brand name on the actual cup itself. Uh, this cup holds a half an ounce. It's, they say, 15 milliliters up to these air holes. So it's a, 15, uh, a half an ounce cup, and that's almost to the very top, that, the rim there. And most of these other well this is a this is a size 2 diva cup and just to give you an idea this is 15 milliliters and that's a half an ounce there so it's a really nicely made cup though I, I like it a lot I wish that uh, I could get another cup 
I wonder if the regular Lily Cup is like this, the, the feel of the silicone. I would really like to try that, and I don't have that regular Lily Cup right now. So there's the inside. They do have a seam that runs around the top rim, and I don't know if you can see that because they finished it off so nicely. It's smooth. I can't feel it one bit with my fingers. I could barely see it. I actually had to search to see where that mold um, seam was. But they finished that so nicely. No one would be able to feel that. Um, well, I wouldn't think anyone would be able to feel that, even if they were sensitive. I, I can barely even see it, let alone feel it. So that's a really nice nicely made cup. So I have my Diva Cup size 2 and I just wanted to give you a quick comparison up against the Lily Cup Compact. So the Diva Cup is quite a bit more uh, long in length there, or taller in height. And I also have the Maluna Medium Classic which is the cup that uh, their size calculator had suggested to me. And personally, I was not able to get this cup to open. I, I really wanted it to work out for me. I like this cup so much. Um, but I did do different folds. I, I tried to use my regular punch down fold and um, usually I can't use the punch down fold with smaller cups but I always try anyhow and when I pinch the base to try to get it to open I didn't even reach the rim that's tucked in there uh, the rim is more at the second second collapsible dip so it didn't it didn't open like that and uh, I did do the U fold or C fold and I also did the seven fold but I was just not able to get it open completely. It stayed smashed like this inside of me. And maybe I just didn't have enough air in it, but I didn't want to enlarge these um, holes. I did try to get it to open a few times, but it just didn't work out for me. Um, so I'm sadly going to have to de-stash it again, uh, but somebody will benefit from this awesome cup because it, it's, it's so nice. I, I really, really wish that it worked for me. It is it is a soft cup down here, and uh, that, that secondary rim to that top rim, it has a good resistance, but I think that the area of the resistance is just not enough for my own body. Collapsing it is easy. Uh, you just kind of push it down, and it folds right back up to be placed inside of the carrying case. So at $40 for the Lily Cup and $50 uh, with the Lily Cup and shipping is quite expensive for me. Um, I don't like to throw down that, that much money in one sitting, usually uh, at least for a menstrual cup, but two months of disposables would pay for my Lily Cup if I was to purchase it full price. Um, and then the continuation of savings month after month of having a reusable uh, cup. And this is a really well made cup, good quality, so I could see where that money uh, would come into play that they could charge that much for it because it is it is really good quality. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a comparison against the other cups that I have, the menstrual cups, because of the different shape. Um, I don't think it would give a good read. Maybe just the rim I could do comparisons to. So I, I think I'll do that. Just the rim would, would be enough. But the bottom of the cup is is really soft. So just, you know, know that at least. Um, it is softer than my Maluna Classic, and it is softer than the Diva Cup. Um, just, 
just a little bit for now, but um, yeah, I'll do the, the rims when I get batteries for my camera. I haven't picked those up yet. Um, but if I had missed anything or if you have any additional questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or you can find me on Facebook. I'm not ready to de-stash this yet, even though I'm going to de-stash it in the near future. So um, look for that. You'll have to find me on Facebook. And all of my information is uh, in the description below. If you want to see more comparison or reviews from me, updates, anything, uh, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.